Oh, it's actually just it. No, it's not simulated at all. Level 90? Doesn't seem fair. Man, he sure does have a lot of health. Man, 130,000 is 1% of his HP. Okay, we got a long way to go. Yeah, sorry. No uh, no tabletop RPG banter today. We got... This, this actually kind of... We kind of got to lock in here. It's, it's kind of beating my ass. All right, Relink Gamers. We are back for more Grand Blue Fantasy Relink action for you here. Uh, last time... Well, let's let's while while we're I'm doing this, so I'm giving you guys a recap. I'm gonna go uh, do report the side quest here. Travel. Oh no, we're not. We're, we can't do it. We have to be in Seed Hollow. Well, let's do that real quick. Uh, last time we indeed did have a little bit of an actual story progression, right? Uh, uh, Id, right? Had well, there was there was some talk basically that the captain of the guard in Seed Hollow was like, you know, we went to the Pillar of Vioy and we're cleaning stuff out, and it seems to be mostly safe. But there's this, you know, there's this awfully uh, awfully strange dark energy that's just per per permeating the whole thing. We couldn't get close to it. Turns out it was Dark Link, aka Dark Lid, uh, Dark Lid, Dark Id. There you go. Um, Desert Ash, and we have a bunch of that. Okay, he didn't give us anything that useful. Improved guard, honestly, might be useful. Just because we, we do want to be guarding. But yeah, so uh, we, we fought Dark Link, aka Dark Id. And he actually kind of kicked my ass. I did lose once. Uh, but, you know, and I almost lost the second attempt too. But we'll, just, we'll chalk that up to careless play and say that, you know, it was a, it was a skill issue. And uh, he, he wasn't even that strong. You know, I was just going easy on him. But yeah, we cleared that out. And that unlocked uh, extreme difficulty quests for us, if I remember correctly. So we've got some interesting stuff ahead of us for sure. Um, how, how, how good, what does Improved Guard do exactly? Uh, let, me, let me take a quick look here because... Like, is it going to give me some exact numbers on how much it uh, improves my guard, as it were? Uh, trait details. Close ability to cause guard break minus 8%. Okay, okay. This trait may, may be worth it uh, as, as we level up, but I think for now that is probably not going to make, well, any difference at all, if I had to guess. So we'll just, we'll take that off and we'll put the uh, level 3 enmity that we had on there back in. Again, we are currently still rocking that enmity strat where we try and just basically get really low health and go from there. Uh, do we have any curios for Zothba? Uh, I, I don't... Oh, not online status. Sorry, sorry. Fast travel. Uh, I don't think we have anything for Zasta, but I haven't checked in a while. So let's let's see real quick. Um, oh, we have seven, apparently. It's a good thing we checked. All right. What? I don't even know what this could give you. Right? Like, what, what, what exactly are we... Okay, uh, damage cap. Interesting. We haven't gotten a damage cap sigil yet, but again, I don't think we necessarily need them quite yet. Uh, it looks like it's a whole bunch of garbage, right? Like, maybe that damage cap sigil, but... These sort of basic curios here, nothing seems to necessarily be so... Like, really all that impressive. Um, okay, yeah, well, now that we, we didn't get anything special from that id quest, right? We can't, like, uncap Alcerov or anything. I also have been, I, I was notified by some of you, uh, fine folks, that, uh, this Verzite Scythe here that I was talking about, I was like, man, this seems like pure ass, right? Because it just, like, it's, it's, it's got bad stats and it has a bad trait, right? Uh, attack up there is, is pretty worthless. But I've been told that essentially the idea with Ascension weapons, and I guess it makes sense from the name, is that the more you ascend them, or uncap them, essentially, they get better and better and better the higher level you go. Uh, so, you know, eventually this will become useful. I mean, again, we are going to forge all of these anyway. Uh, in fact, actually, while we're here, maybe we can we can forge um, this here Soul Eater. We're not going to equip it, but uh, maybe, yeah, maybe we can forge it for now. And maybe get some Collection Masteries, because, yeah, we're, we're going to forge everything for the Collection Masteries, right? But yeah, apparently it's actually going to be useful the more we level it up to and the more we uncap it. So good to know. But for now, though, it can still just uh, wallow in, in sadness there. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of collection masteries, I, I imagine these give us a bunch of crits. Is that correct? Uh, health and crit rate. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Again, the, the nice thing about these is they are just dirt, dirt cheap, right? Health points. And then, yeah, I don't, I don't really care about getting to 75 because I don't really care about 100 more health. But then crit hit damage. Interesting. Oh, okay. It only gives you the crit rate right here. I thought it would give us a lot more crit rate. I thought that would be like a nice way for us to approach 100% crit rate, basically. But maybe not. Uh, in any case, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe try it out in a... Because crit rate 15, like if it can get us to 100% crit in the short term, that might actually not be such a bad thing. You know, I am curious, actually. I am curious. Can we can we uncap it if we get it all the way up? Because I, I am genuinely uh, a little bit interested. And someone did tell me that like, hey, this thing is actually the best for DPS in the early game until like damage cap becomes a problem. So I am, I am, I am curious. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, to front. Can we even uncap it though? We have enough dragon scales. Yeah, we got a, a shit ton of dragon scales. Let's try, let's try, let's try. So let's level it up again. We can get it all the way to 100, right? Uh, and then, theoretically, ooh, that is, yeah, I got a lot of more attack from that. We can't uncap it any further though. Yeah, we're not even close. We need to, yeah, and the same thing for Ulcerov, right? We're so far away from being able to uncap either of these. But as crit rate level 15 now, so if we, if we equip this, what does our crit rate go to? Because right now, it's already 58 with Ulcerov equipped, right? If we equip Soul Leader, ah, that's actually not as big. Wait, crit rate 15 only takes us up 15 points? 
I guess because we already have crit rate uh, level four on here, so it takes us basically we go from we go from eight to nineteen, right? Which I assume I guess must be twenty three percent. Yeah, yeah, it only goes up by one percent each level, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. And I'll, I'll try it out. I'll give it a try anyways, and just see how it feels. Right? I mean, seventy three percent crit rate at that point. Like we're getting to the point that you know crits are more likely than than non crits, right? And it also gives a crit damage buff. So maybe maybe there's something here. Let's uh, uh let's let's swap it out. Go for the Soul Eater there. And, um, man, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe some of these, like, we're already stacking some Enmity, so it's, it's got a little bit of Diminishing Returns. Maybe better to spend that Diminishing Returns on a one of these instead, on another Crit Rate 3, possibly. 77%? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try it out. Again, this is now, this is a, it's a, you know, this is UI Goku's EZA Chance to Dodge in Dokkan, if you're familiar with that, right? So, seven, and that's pretty reliable. Uh, so, 77%, I'm, I'm, I, won't, I won't be too upset about this. Let's go hit some things with Soul Eater and see how we feel. Oh, we know we can actually get some more of the Masteries now that it's level 100, too. We can get some crit damage and some HP. Yep, health points and Sharper. crit damage. Not bad. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay, let's uh, let's get going. Actually, you know what? Okay, okay, last thing, last thing of the Blacksmith, and then I promise we're done. I saw that level 75 Defender weapon. I feel like a thousand more HP is maybe not a horrible idea. Uh, just with, uh, we've been we've been having some some trouble with getting one shot recently, and the, yeah, I mean this uncapping is uh, is pretty pretty cheap, right? So, I'm. Maybe wait. Oh, it was already max level seventy-five. Oh god, I'm I'm a, I'm a fool. No, I spent the dragon scale for nothing. Okay, okay. Well, whatever. Well, let's just let's just let's just go. This is not the most uh, you know. Oh, okay. We we are rupee locked now. I've noticed we don't have any glitter crystals. So maybe that was silly of me, but it's fine. Again, we're not we're nowhere close to being able to ascend our weapons to one twenty-five anyway. So it's it's not such a big deal. I just would like this extra one thousand HP here because I've been I've been getting my ass beat by some of these bosses, man. And I'm sure extreme difficulty does not uh, does not fuck around. Wait. I do have Soul Eater equipped, right? Not Grinoth? Yes, perfect. It does look cool, doesn't it? Again, all of uh, Vosraga's Fate episodes centered around this girl who thought he was the Reaper, so maybe we can uh, we can uh, look the part a little bit more. Mindset Archipelago. Yeah, extreme fights. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, Fury Cane and it. What in God's name? Is it another? Is it the? Is it the? Uh, what's it called? Is it the Shadow Id again? We'll see. For now, we'll fight Fury Cane, I guess. Clear within seven minutes. Use Skybound Arts at least two times. And destroy eight destructi destructible parts. Sorry, I got a little bit of uh, the hiccups going on. These are these are new sorts of this is a new sort of structure for these side quests, right? Destroy eight destructible parts. I mean, Alsarov would be better for this, but hopefully it still uh, works out fine. The crew alliance for failure has taken note of your crew's successful or skillful accomplishments, but we'd like to have our own analyst confirm just how you defeated Avia and quelled Fury King. If the results are satisfactory, we'll feel comfortable entrusting you with even more dangerous responsibilities. What does this mean? Are we fighting like a simulated Fury King? I don't know. Fury Cane Omega Anima. Ooh, Fury Cane Anima. So I guess this is... Yeah, yeah, so this is like a better version of this. Fury Cane Anima, Fury Cane Omega Anima. Quality Refinium. We need Exceptional Refinium up next, so we're still a ways off there. Vitality Wrightstone. What the hell is this? It's not a sigil, but it has crit rate and Aegis on it. Like, it has traits on it, so I don't know. This is interesting stuff where the, the game is sort of opening up a little bit here. All right, well, for now, I guess the, the only thing we can do is bonk this guy really hard and see what we get. Uh, Rock'em and the Captain still rocking a very low power, but it's fine. On the bright side, there's not even any side quests for uh, don't go into critical condition X or Y times, so Rock'em can go down all he wants and it'll be fine. I think uh, one of the things that I really want to try on a mechanical level in this video here is I really, I, we talked about it a little bit, but I still have not ever done it. I want to uh, really start option selecting my, my dodge with my guard, right? Someone told me about this a long time ago and I was like, ah, oh, it's a cool idea. I don't think I've ever really done it. Like, just tapping the, the the guard there right before you dodge. If you perfect dodge, wonderful. If not, you get to guard. I think that's a, that's a good thing to be attempting. We, we might not be very good at it right away, but again, at least attempting it is going to be uh, is going to be valuable. Get slowed, nerd. Uh, in fact, let's go down to 1 HP right away here. Just for uh, the sake of some, some nice bonks. Get bonked. Undying gives us the damage buff, and it'll take us to 1 HP eventually, right? We have Stout Heart active, so we don't care about any of your shenanigans here. I do like the damage I'm seeing on these crits, right? I feel like for completely un- like for light attacks to be doing 14,000 damage, that's uncommon. I'm definitely seeing the uh, the potential DPS gains with Soul Leader here. Oh, he just broke his leg. Uh, yeah, so we have destroyed destructible parts, indeed. Oh, nice. Okay, we're at 1 HP and Undying is gone, right? So let's not get too cocky here. This could be a big charge for us. We can't destroy his arm, seemingly. Or at least it doesn't it doesn't seem super easy to do. 
No, okay, I think we can. Uh, I mean, it looks like we can destroy all of them, basically. Oh, there you go. He's rebuilt himself, which is great. This gives us more opportunity to beat him up again. Dude, he is really just getting ragdolled, huh? All right, let's cancel this into a big bonk. Oh, and Id's got the slow on deck. Yeah, I like this damage. Uh, is this gonna hurt? Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, this isn't so bad. Let's watch out, though. He's not in overdrive or anything like that yet. Guard that. Okay, okay. At least I, at least I, I had the thoughts to guard again. Get Rex nerd. Yeah, I do. I do honestly like these uh, the crits. Oh my god, I did not think he was turning around like that. Unfortunate, unfortunate. The the crits do seem to at least give us uh, a much bigger amount of damage on the uncharged heavies, right? Which is good because we don't always have the luxury of doing our biggest heavy possible. We've already almost gotten all the destructible parts as well, which is good. So that looks like it's basically it's almost impossible to not do this mission, considering how much health Furikin still has here. There you go. It's done. Oh, and yeah, when we knock his legs off, he sits there like a fool. It's just charged up on his ass. 82,000? Okay, for being full health, not having any enmity, not having any undying. I feel like that's pretty good, right? And again, yeah, it seems to ignore, to an extent, the, uh, the damage reduction from hitting him in an armored spot, right? Yeah. The numbers are still lit up brightly. I so. I'm gonna wait for him to go into overdrive, and then I'm gonna try to immediately skybound dart him before he bloodthirsts. Might not be super feasible, though. Okay, good guards. Actually, yeah, I guess taking a little bit of damage again is not such a bad thing. We, want, we do want to get enmity up, right? Just make sure that it's not an attack that looks like it'll one-shot us, like that one. We wouldn't want to take that one. He's running away, he's a coward. Okay, he's doing the thing again. Let's follow him. Okay, I did not think we were in the hitbox there, but we apparently we were. We got great sights. They should take him into overdrive. Not quite. Sure. Now he should. Understood. Yeah. Uh, can we do this right away before he bloodthirsts? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what I was hoping for, right? Because now we get to uh, use all this time to actually break some of his uh, overdrive gates. Fine by me. Let me get a big old charge here as everyone is beating on him. Hopefully we get some crits too. Yeah, yeah, good numbers, man. All right, let's get a couple dodge cancels going into a big bomb. Side of chaos. Hopefully this doesn't knock him a bad distance. No, yeah, put him right in front of us, actually. Perfect. And one of these. Now probably Bloodthirst. Yes, okay. I think our charge hit him a little late. It hit him once the Bloodthirst was already there, but it's okay. Uh, guarding is going to be real important here, just because sometimes these tornadoes are not super feasible to get out of the way of. We'll do our best to just stay safe, but otherwise... Like, you know, right here, yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Let's make our life easier, right? The guard guard is uh, a lot stronger than I give it credit for. Ooh, we just got the guard payback buff there. Okay, get away. Oh, actually, I thought he was going to be stabbing. That is not at all what he did. Oh, okay, hello. He keeps getting away from us. Okay, this is all. He's, he's not targeting any of this at us, so we're fine. We'll get 100% link pretty soon here. There you go. Wonderful. Now we get the big old fast charges. Link does feel really good. Alright, and one of those. And he's broken. Let's uh, do this for this, the extra damage. Into that, into this charge started in Link, so it'll still end really quick. Exactly. Now we can slow him. It does feel really good, man. I like again the the patch. The patch. Uh, I I'm I'm very pro because again all of these mechanics coming together like this, when it's not just one rotation of just you know dodge heavy, dodge heavy, dodge heavy. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I can't wait to see what they do in uh, April, right? Which is where I, to my understanding, the next actual proper balance pack is gonna hit. Is this like little tornado? Okay, there you go. I was like, is that little tornado armor around him going to hurt us? But I couldn't find out in time because the actual tornadoes were scaring me too much. Okay, we're at one HP, but this is good. It's more damage, right? We just gotta, oh man, bad time for it. Just gotta be careful. Oh, this is, no, this is bad. This isn't okay. Or, this isn't bad. This is okay. It's his uh, Placidus Axe attack. Decently easy to dodge. Like, oh, but he's added to tornadoes. I see. This is, a uh, yeah, this is definitely more complicated than in the story, right? Because the tornadoes will cut off the, the places you could potentially run from him. Ooh, okay. He's turning into his upper body form. Humanoid. You're okay. Don't mind me. I don't know, his music does not go as hard as Id's, though, huh? Not even close! Okay. I am definitely going to try doing the uh, tap dodge thing. There you go. Like, see, I was guarding there. 
But I actually just, I, I did just succeed the uh, the perfect guard anyway, so it's fine. Oh my god, I was in the bad dodge though, right there. Unfortunate. Yeah, uh, I gotta be careful about dodging too many times in a row. But you can actually do successive dodges, but if you just if you just uh, give them a little bit of time between, like you cool down a little bit between them, you don't cancel right away, it's not so bad. Okay, there you go. And then, yeah, Fury Cane is out and then in, as we learned previously. And we can get a bonk on him here. No, we cannot. Okay, so true. Let's keep locked on so we don't lose sight of him when he's about to attack. Get broken nerfs. Link attacked. He really does ragdoll a lot, huh? It's honestly kind of a bad thing. It keeps knocking him out of my range. Uh, is he just ragdoll again? I suppose so. Okay, block that. We didn't need to, but again, it's good that we're it's good that we're being ready. Right? And block this. Oh, apparently unnecessary. That, that is that hitbox is a lot smaller than it looks. Good to know. All right, we just stay behind him here and beat him up. Her, maybe? I mean, do primal beasts have gender? Is that is that even a concept? I'm not sure. But you know, they they don't look. They look somewhat uh, feminine, of in just like built. But you know, who am I to judge? I could be wrong. Come here. Get broken. Yeah, wonderful. If we can if we can get a skybound dart here, I'd be very happy. Get slowed, nerd. Get great scythed, nerd. I think we have enough time for a big bonk here with the slow. Oh, they're just broken. Wait, I could have sworn their their gauge was not so low. What happened there? Maybe I mean I know Great like does a lot of break damage, but I could have sworn they were still at like half overdrive gauge there. I'm a little confused. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it, it, that's the problem with this is it does feel so bad when we don't get the crit, right? Like uh, the the damage difference, 100% crit chance would be nice. So we wouldn't have to uh, worry about this nonsense. I should have blocked that. I tried to dodge it, but I didn't do the option select. Thanks for the revive, Captain. And by Captain, I mean Rockham, but I meant Captain in like the camaraderie sense, not in the actual position sense. Okay. We're good to just keep dodging and bonking here. Yeah, it, do it does feel so good when you crit and so bad when you don't. Maybe maybe I should try and get to 100% crit. Or at least like an absurdly high crit value, like 90% or something. Uh, let's do this. They're already pretty far off of overdrive. Then we might even get another... We might already get our Skybound Dart back by the time that they go into Overdrive. So there's no need saving it here, I don't think. Fine by me. Get Rexner. Nerf. Big ol' explosion. Big ol' charge heavy. There you go. And then... Are we not locked on? Please lock on. There you go. And then the... The Hide Burst. Out of Chaos. There you go. That'll... That'll, uh, that'll mess us up, but again, we can just do a couple rolls to get back in range. Never mind. It's, it's shot them even further away than I thought. Also, it gave them way more overdrive gauge than I thought. Maybe I should have saved my Skybound Dart. Okay, okay, okay. Don't mind me. It's still good, right? It's still good for the extra damage. Uh, oh, again, yeah, Captain went down. Seems pretty pretty rare in my experience, but... This is a pretty easy move, right? Yeah, just, just make sure to guard when you get caught, you know, unawares. And you'll be fine. These things don't do a whole lot of guard break, and the, the hitboxes don't come very successively. So, blocking is uh, is totally safe. There's no risk of a guard break, basically. Uh, I guess I can Undying here, so I can smack you with impunity. Rock, I'm stuck gonna make it. Yeah, 1 HP. Oh, we don't have Stout Heart? Let's get Stout Heart up. So we don't get... Uh... Oh, we're dizzied. Wait, wait. There you go. He's really going after people, damn. Get slow. Stop beating us up. Yeah, we need to get Stout Heart up, right? Because if we have Undying and he's just ragdolling us all over the place, we're just wasting all of that precious invulnerability time. Like, we kind of did, unfortunately. Undying's gone now. Well, we can still hit him, but we're no longer as safe as we used to be, right? I kind of like this music. I didn't realize if this was Fury Cane's theme the first time we fought them, then I was sleeping on it a little. Get Great Scythe for a break. Wonderful. Into 100% lane. Crit rate up. I love to see it. I wonder if it's at 100% now. I wonder how big the crit rate up is in Link Time. We, I mean, it's all of our mastery, so we could just count them up, but I don't know. All right. Wonderful. Oh, guys, you knocked them away from me. Not like this. Okay, well, this bomb should land at least. Oh, my God, and it broke them? Yeah, again, they had all, they, it looked like they had a lot of their break gauge left there. I guess the break gauge is maybe, it's like, it, the, the lower it goes, the faster it goes down. Like, the, the higher up, when it's still mostly full, 
it has like some some break gauge reduction reduction. I don't know. Bonk, bonk. Uh oh, guard. Easy. This guard. Wonderful. Link attack incoming. Yes. Indeed. And they got ragdolled again. Again, these ragdolls are genuinely a bad thing. They're making it so hard to actually stay on top of them. Uh, let's slow them while we're here into a little battalions, into a big bonk. These extreme quests are definitely a little bit tougher, right? But this is the first time on one of these side quests that we've had to uh, take an eye on our critical gauge. Like, Id was uh, a story mission, right? And, and he kind of beat our ass. But the uh, the very hard quests, we were kind of, after the, the one garrison who kind of beat our ass, we were kind of just cruising. And now we, you know, we got to be a little bit more uh, careful, for sure. All right. All right. Wrong way, buddy. I'm right here. You're shooting the tornadoes to the wrong side. Uh, we, we can save this Skybound Dart for as soon as they go into overdrive. Bonk. Oh, God. Perfect dodge. Well timed. Wait, I should still probably get out of there. Yeah. Okay. I block those. Apparently, I don't even have to. There you go. Oh, man. You still take reduced damage when you get guard broken, apparently. So that's good. Good to know. Uh, get wrecked, nerd. Oh, they slowed by it. Perfect. Overdrive. Let's get in there real quick, like. Immediately, yes, before they can get their bloodthirst off. Uh, I think it, everyone should get their Skybound Darts, yeah, because the, after this burst, they get like a big, yeah. You get like about 10 or 15%, seemingly, after each person in the party does their Skybound Dart to facilitate chain bursts. You get bonked, nerd. Get dodge cancelled, nerd. Captain's here. Yeah, and our crits aren't even hitting damage caps, so I think maybe, maybe crits are important right now to just maximize our damage as much as we can. That's good. Like, see, we got half of his overdrive gauge off of him. And now we can get, we can go right into 100% link. Oh, this was just like perfect, right? I think this will break too. I mean, we can do, yeah, we can do so much overdrive damage and link. I think this will break him. They, yeah, they didn't get to use that, that overdrive at all. That's exactly what I'm talking about with Skybound Arts, man. They're so good for this exact purpose. Even if they don't do a lot of damage themselves. All right, got big bonked. Uh, get slowed. Stay a while, why don't you? And big bonk. Immortal pain to finish it off. Oh, doing the Parthenax move, or I keep saying Parthenax, plus Citizenax. We can't even hit them at all during this. You know what? Hit me. I want you to. Hit me. I want to be at one HP when you come down. I could take a lot more, Vern. I'm invincible. There you go. Wonderful. Water sword. They haven't done this yet. I mean, this is just a, it's just a combo, I'm pretty sure. So we can just hit them while they're doing this. And it'll and we'll be just fine. Oh, they, 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 you know what? They're not taking a whole lot of damage. I will, I'll will i give them that. And they are, they're actually being rather difficult to hit. Great Scythe? Okay, Great Scythe's hitbox is big enough. We make contact. We are not invulnerable anymore, so let's be careful. Yeah, they are just taking so much reduced damage, right? Okay. I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty safe from Flutter Sword so far. A ring of Death. All right, out and then in. You know the deal. Yeah, dodge that and then just run straight at him. Exactly. We actually went too far there. Okay. Yeah, wow, okay. They really are just surviving on 1%. Now we can get him. If we just avoid these tornadoes. This should be the end of Fury King pretty soon here. Where are my crits, game? There you go. Light attacks. That's all we needed. Wind Hunter. It wasn't so bad. First extreme quest down. It did take a while though, huh? That took like, uh, that was one of our longer fights yet, I think. Is that like 15 minutes? I don't know, actually. How much time do we have? Uh, I think we had 50 minutes at the beginning of that, right? So I think that took like 12 minutes. Definitely, definitely a little bit of time. Ooh, exceptional refining. Okay, hold on a minute. Nobody told me we'd be getting it so soon. Maybe I do need those rupees after all. Damn. Is there a way to farm glitter crystals or something like that? Because I am I'm kind of broke right now and I would like to not be broke. I feel like we're, we're like our resources are going to start flowing in a little bit, but uh we have no money. Hopefully we got I mean we I know we got yeah, we got hopefully a bunch from this quest, but uh, I don't know what the best way to get rupees is, I will say. I should hopefully be like a A rank. Oh my god. Whatever mind. It's a C. Never, I guess we did go down a whole lot. That makes sense. Ow, my heart, my soul, it hurts. Okay, so what are you? A Vitality, Rightstone, Crit Rate, and Aegis. But, like, where, where do you go? We got a, two Animas and one Omega Anima and some Exceptional Refinium. Wonderful. You'll have to see it. Well, that was a horrible uh, rank there, but it's fine. Again, we're just, you know, we're trying to make progress here, get to the end of this epilogue. Because clearly there is still more story to be done.
Weapons can now be imbued with right stones at the blacksmith. Okay. Yeah, so the interesting thing about our... Oh, yeah, I should take the Mirage Munition off if we're going to be using this crit weapon for now. Weapon imbued with the right stone gains the right stone's trait. Imbuing the same weapon with a different right stone overwrites its current right stone traits. Okay, so, for example, when we had uh, upgrade weapons... When we had the this one, right? We could, we could take the Mirage Munition off of this freely, right? And then we can just put it on uh, on Soul Eater and it's totally fine. Like this, and we can take it off Soul Eater and put it back on Ulcer, right? There's no problem, but... The right stones seem like they actually just get stuck, right? A right stone from the primeval god. Yeah, it looks like the it looks like the right stones actually get stuck. So if we put this on Soul Eater, it's stuck on Soul Eater, right? And then if we ever try and overwrite it, it's gone forever, I imagine. But it also says right stones held one of five thousand. Something tells me these are not exactly the hardest to come by. But I mean, crit rates feels like again this feels perfect, right? It just yeah takes us up to a third level there. All right stones have been used indeed. So yeah, now I can't. Yeah, I can't take the right stone off. Um, yeah, it is stuck there. Okay, okay, fair enough. Oh yeah, we, I mean, we even even with the exceptional refining, we need supreme merits. We need a bizarre ice spines we can get. We've already gotten, and then an alpha wolf's valor, which we've never gotten before. So there's still a lot to, to go there before we can uncap. But uh, let's see. Is there? I was thinking. What isn't there some way we we can? I feel like I want to boost my crit rates even more. To be honest, just because it feels it feels like guard payback, for example. Uh, maybe you know what? How how cheap is it to upgrade these crit sigils? Because I know we don't normally do this, but in the in the in the short term here, uh, wind shards are expensive, or not expensive, but just we don't have a ton of them. Um, I feel like they I feel like they're going to drop in in pretty big numbers later on, but still, I don't think that's quite worth it. Uh, maybe we can. Do we have any better crit rate sigils? Can we transmute some at Sierra? I have been told that basically, so we unlocked a higher level of transmutation in the last episode, and I was told that basically it's going to keep getting better, right? And it might be worthwhile to save those vouchers for the best ones, right? That uh, Sierra has. Not necessarily spend all of them right now. I mean, again, we, that's the kind of thing we can farm, just like everything else. But, you know, the, the less we waste right now, the less we'll have to farm later. Yeah, we don't have any other crit rate threes. Like, a crit rate two, I feel like it's just so... Yeah, it's 2% extra. It's just so not worth it, right? So, I don't th I think I think we'll have to live with 80% for now. But, I mean, when we uncap uh, Soul Eater, what happens here? How, how high does the crit rate go, theoretically? Uh, if we uncap him, he goes... Crit rates. Oh, he only gets five percent more. Yeah, so we'll still need to find fifteen percent somewhere. I mean, higher any crit rate four sigils will definitely do that for us, right? So that'll be pretty good. Anyways, let's let's keep doing these quests here. Uh, if these extreme quests are gonna take this long, we want to be able to do like two or, or, or three a video, but we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, general investigation is advise power seven thousand. That is a lot more than the fury cane one. I tell you what, but we will still do our best. There's a supreme merit. Id anamnesis. That is a... I've only ever seen that word in a Pathfinder spell name. That is a very strange... I, I actually don't know what that word means. Uh, purpose. But it also rendered me blind to the monstrosity of our crusade. Interesting. Flawless prisms, flawed prism, tempest stones, world rooms, or failure coins. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Uh, we have a bunch of copper spell books, right? Maybe maybe leveling up a little bit couldn't hurt. Even though, again, 80,000 XP is not exactly a ton at this point. But yeah. Uh, I mean, 400,000 is a little bit better, I guess. Um... We use all five. Takes us level 71. Yeah, I don't see why not. To help us get a little bit closer to that advised power there for it. Um, I guess we can spend some masteries while we're at it too. Because again, this quest seems to be a little bit, uh, a little spooky. Uh, do we have a crit rate mastery anywhere? We have a crit damage mastery. I see right there, right? This one right here. Uh, that one, right? But no no crit rate, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, well, we can get all the way down here. Oh, no, we can't. We can go all the way down here. Raise the damage tap for skybound darts. Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we'll, we'll we'll call it at that. All right, let's go fight Id, and hopefully things go well. General investigation. Our unit is currently investigating obvious three generals. As you're aware, I, I, Id was I almost read that as like I apostrophe D. Id was Lilith's guardian and top commander, but in the battle's final moments, he turned against his mother and joined your crew. To determine whether he's worthy of trust, we'd like you to reconstruct your most telling encounter with him. Yeah, again, these are just these seems like simulated battles basically that we're that we're going on with here. So this is very interesting. I'm sure it is going to absolutely uh, murk us, but hey, it's going to be our third time fighting him, right? So surely, uh, you know, fighting him in his dragon form and all that, surely we will be able to come up with something. I mean, throughout the whole story, we fought him. The one time was a guaranteed loss. The other time was a guaranteed loss. And then uh, the one time where we beat him where he first went dragon form, the one time we fought him with Versa and then the side quest, right? So it's been five times total. Oh, it's actually just it. No, it's not simulated at all. Ready to die. Wait, but we have it on our party, don't we? You won't lay okay. A on this Level 90? Uh, 
doesn't seem fair. Well, don't mind if I do, I guess. Come here. Let's listen to use all of our cooldowns. The sooner we use them, the sooner they can come back to us, right? Get bonked. Get double bonked. Man, he sure does have a lot of health. How much is a full bonk going to do? Man, 130,000 is 1% of his HP. Okay, we got a long way to go. Let's get Undying going. We're going to need the extra damage. Okay. One bonk. Two bonk. Red bonk. Blue bonk. Let's do it again. Oh, God. He went away. Hit me. I want you to hit me. Okay. He's, he's just missing us. We're actually just juking him. Breaking his ankles. I'm fine, Vern. It's okay. Bonk. 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 Nice. He, man, he is incredibly uh, tanky, huh? Oh, oh, Undying ran out. I didn't notice. I was like, as, as I was up there, I'm like, haha, I am invincible. I was not invincible. Uh, I, and I noticed far too late. Hit me. Don't hit them. They're saving Grokko. Yeah, this is uh, sure not a lot of damage that we're doing to him, huh? Okay, he lands there. And everyone dodges him perfectly. You love to see it. I'm so proud of this crew. I'm so proud of this community. Do we get a, a chance for... Okay, I yeah, know he's too fast. We can't We can't quite get a full charge off after a link attack. We got to do the uh, little ones. Oh, yeah, so yeah, he just parried us, right? That's where that big attack is coming from. Yeah, when he, when he blocks it like that... He's parrying and about to counter. I don't think we can... Maybe we can block that, but that's his heavy attack, right? So it's hard to say. I like his jab combos there. Do give us an opportunity to just get lower health for enmity. This is going to take a while, I think. I, Ten minutes? I don't think so. He's, he's incredibly uh, durable. He's gonna, is he going to parry again? Yeah. Great scythe. Bonk. Link attack and quick bonk, because we can't quite afford to get a full one out, unfortunately. Yeah, 10% of his HP after all of this beating is... Uh, I know I keep I keep repeating myself, but I'm just a little... I'm very impressed with uh, with how tanked up it is currently. Nice, we're still in range. Um, I do kind of want to save my Skybound Dart for his overdrive. Because again, what, last time we did a Skybound Dart, when someone was at this much overdrive gauge, it basically sent them directly into overdrive and kind of into us. Oh, where's he going? There it is. There's the, the parry. One of those, one of those, and then two quick ones. Right to the nose, into a link attack, into another quick one, into a great sight, into another quick one. Oh, God. Okay, okay I, got, I got a little cocky there. In my head, I was like, am I taking this combo too far? And the answer was absolutely yes. I should have, uh, you know, taken some more defensive maneuvers there. Get slowed, though, while you're here. Now we should hopefully be able to do uh, a big one. Okay, yeah, we did actually manage to get him while he was running away there because of the slow. Okay. Don't say die. We're sparring. Oh, I messed up the dodge cancel. Fair enough. Unfortunate. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, get out of the way before he goes. Battalions into the bonk. Oh, into 100% link. Wonderful. Okay, this is a good time. This will probably take him all the way to overdrive, is my guess. But we at least do get to beat the ever-living hell out of him while we're here. Into this, uh, into some quick evasive action. Behind him for the back attack, the extra damage, right? Into another great set. This is good. It's actually taking a long time to get into overdrive. Maybe we could have done a skybound dart. Nice guards. I kind of want to do this. Hit me. Wonderful. Extra, extra damage there from enemy. And we can back attack him. One rate speed. Don't mind if I do. I, I don't. Okay, burn. No need to heal here. We've already failed the critical condition one anyway. All right, let's get behind him. Hopefully we can break him before he does anything. No, not quite. Okay, maybe now. There you go. Wonderful. And we'll get we'll actually Umbral Eclipse right here. And hopefully that gives us a little opportunity to beat on him. Hopefully we can figure out what he's doing. I can't tell which way that attack's gonna go. Okay. Yeah, again, this is my problem. I was talking about this uh, in the story fights, but the problem with it is he's he's kind of small, right? A lot of the bosses you fight in this game are very large. But when we're just beating on it like this, it's actually hard for me to tell what he's doing and uh, dodge accordingly, right? There's the parry. All right, one of these. At this point, we definitely have to save the Skybound Dart, but I'm really starting to think that maybe we could have just saved it. Or maybe could have just used it right away, I mean, and gotten another one by the time he actually got all the way into Overdrive. Okay, there's a Linkage. Italians into another bonk. 
And we're doing good damage, but yeah, five minutes in and he's at 30%. We are definitely not getting 10 minutes, right? I don't even think we're playing very badly. I think he, we, he, this is just a little bit... Uh, we haven't been gear checked in a while, but we just are not doing the kind of beats that we need to be doing today. Okay, he's going through his whole combo there. Don't mind if I do the same. Oh! Reagan left. He's beaten up it. Leave yourself alone, man. There's something poetic there about him beating himself up, literally. Hmm. Carry on. Right. Carry on. Okay, dude, he is actually... I mean, I guess maybe the how quick the overdrive gauge depends on how much of the boss's HP you do, right? And the fact that since we just have not been damaging him, basically, for all intents and purposes, the overdrive gauge is taking so long to fill up. That might be the case. Hopefully we can still break him pretty easily. Good dodge. It knows all of his own moves. Very good at dodging his own attack patterns. There we go, another break. We're getting a lot of uh, link opportunities on him, at least. Okay, there you go. Let's very quickly try and do this before he bloodthirsts. Wonderful. That's exactly what I like to see. Because now, again, we get to just eat up a lot of his overdrive gauge here before he even gets to do anything. Fine by me. Well, I say a lot. Yeah, it definitely looks like the overdrive... Uh, it depends on how much percent HP you do to them, right? So with us... Oh, I didn't charge that up all the way. With us not really hitting it all that hard, his overdrive gauge looks kind of fun. Let me eclipse or umbral eclipse him here. There you go. And then we can hopefully get one more big bonk on him before he goes into whatever bloodthirst shenanigans he wants to do. There you go. Let's do a quick one. Nice. Yeah, perfectly timed. Okay, okay. That's not so bad. We are now sentenced, apparently. I'm just going to hopefully ignore all of this. Live at 1 HP, live my best life. Okay, this is all fine. This is all fine. None of this is a problem. I do love Rockham going, holy! Don't panic. I'm almost there. I got you, Rockham. Oh, apparently maybe not, maybe I don't. There you go. I do. Get up. Feel like a million bucks. Oh, he's coming my way. Let's get him away from everyone else. Perfect. Oh god. Yeah, we can still cancel Grinoth and not have the cooldown go off if we think, you know, we just it's not a good time for it. Which is definitely useful. This should help us break him a little bit. Yeah, these big charged heavies definitely do still do a lot of work in that department. They do a lot of overdrive damage. And one more for the roads. Uh, I guess it's not a bad time for Undying. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's very rarely a bad time for Undying, honestly. Whether defensively or offensively, it's, it's always somewhat useful. He's parrying like a nerd. That's fine, get me to 1 HP. I actually welcome the pain. Come here, buddy. Only it could be this strong when you have an arse. Uh, undying, I gotta, I gotta be careful. It's 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 about that time where it might be starting to uh, to leave. Yeah, it's about it's almost gone. So let's let's be very careful. That 229. I don't. Oh my god, I was I didn't roll that fast enough. Um, that uh, oh baby, that 22900 or 22900,000 there, right? Uh, was not actually. Okay, there we are off to revive him. That's good. But that was not actually damage cap. I don't think. I don't think I saw the little flash that indicates that. So I think we're we're still a ways off there, which is good. Oh. Uh, get slowed while you're here, please. Okay, no, no, never mind. I should have just dodged. Good to know. Yeah, the fact that while we're getting hit, it like slows down our moves, right? Like when we're armoring through something, we still have to like sit there and and uh, like we have to sort of absorb the hit, which slows us down. Definitely could be a problem with Stout Heart. And it's better than getting knocked out of your move entirely, obviously. It's something to keep in mind. There you go. We broke him out of his parry. Wonderful. Into a little take right side. Into one of those. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't see why not. Let's just get him all the way to break. We'll be able to get another Sky... Oh, wait, no, but nobody else has their thing ready. Why did I get so much more Skybound gauge than everyone else? Unfortunate. Okay, well... Sag, but it happens. Here's the parry coming again. One of those. This isn't so bad. Though, again, we have a long way to go. And presumably, he still has his second phase coming, right? The dragon, once we get into 50%. So this might actually be kind of tough, because our crit gauge is not looking so hot. Okay. One of them. Perfect. Nice work. <laughs> yeah, man, he's just, like, not taking any damage. Kind of nuts. Okay, bad dodge. Let's get out of the way of, of Id's shenanigans there. 
This should break him. No, no, I overestimate my own the heaviness of my own hits, clearly. This should do it. There you go. The skills do have quite a lot of uh, break on them, from what I can tell. Big bonk. It's a link. Do you guys think he's gonna go into dragon at 50%? I'm actually not I'm not certain. I, I would hope not. That's gonna make the fight even harder, but. Okay, we can block that. That's good. It's not like a guard break or anything. Is he gonna hit me? I hope not. Well, he got slowed anyway, so it wasn't uh, quite as pressing. Uh, otherwise, might be. Yeah, sorry. No, uh, no tabletop RPG banter today. We got this. This actually kind of, we kind of got to lock in here. It's it's kind of beating my ass. These extreme quests don't mess around. Okay, there you go. A break, and the next one will be 100% link, which is awesome. You say Vasaraga, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. That's so wholesome. I love that. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get hit with the parry behind him like this. Oh, he actually did turn around. God damn. But he was aiming at the captain, so we were fine. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna be in range. Doing a full charge there was definitely a little optimistic, I'd say. Maybe no need to cancel uh, battalions there. The hit actually would have been useful. He doesn't have any super armor here, so that's good. We can actually kind of just knock him around for a second. And the parry comes. We great scythe, we bonk, and we get the full link. Wonderful. Uh, if he is going to go into dragon mode, this will probably trigger it, is my guess. Alright. And one of these. And one of these. Yeah, he's at, he's at 50%, which is usually the threshold. Let's do this before he can do it, maybe. It's a nice little opportunity there. Hopefully this doesn't get him too much overdrive gauge. I mean, it built up pretty slow previously, so I'm I want to try it out and see. Fine by me. Get bonks nerfed. We're doing big damage numbers. He just doesn't seem to care very much. 200k. I mean, that's like some of the biggest damage we've ever done. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. This might knock him in a bad direction. No, okay, he's still in range. Wonderful. Right in the dick. Any any dragoners? Uh, doesn't seem so. Actually, I'm the bad dodge. Okay, but we managed to block him back. He doesn't seem to be immediately going into dragon form, so that's good, I suppose. Oh, let's go say we actually uh, we need we need all of the crit gauge we can get. So let's get Rock'em up as fast as we can. Come on. It really might it really might make a difference. Oh, okay. Good thing we we cancel that so we don't waste it. In fact, oh yeah, we don't even need it because we're gonna get 100% link time right here. Nice. Okay. Get bonked, idiot. Get double bonked, idiot. Get great sights. And bonked, idiots. Okay, we can get about three charge heavies in there every time, it seems like. Now we can slow him. And I guess we'll undying just for the damage. I don't see why not. Big bonk. Oh, he's coming this way. Okay. Let's get here then and be right prepared to bonk him. I kind of would like him to get me to 1 HP if possible. But I mean, you know, 2,000. That's almost. That's like 20% of our health. Hit me! Let me get me. Oh, I wanted to get away from. I was like, I should get away from the party. Uh, let's go get the captain. There you go. Oh my god. Okay, we got our guard broken, but luckily that was the last that Undying had to give us. We were still okay. That was a very clutch time for Undying to not run out. Thank you, Undying. Oh, okay. Get out, get out of there. I saw him swinging the sword. Like, it's, it's so hard to tell sometimes when he's told, when he's doing anything, right? When he's just like covered in guys. Having more ranged party members might not be such a bad idea for that reason, right? So that not everyone is, is crowding him. But honestly, just Vasaraga alone can already get a little bit tough because he's so big. It can get a little tough to see what the hell it is uh, is doing. Okay. Yeah, let's not group up. Whenever he's targeting me, I have to get away from the squad because they seem not very good at uh, dodging moves that aren't aimed at them, right? The AI seems pretty good at targeting things where they where they are very clearly the primary target, but when they're not, they kind of seem to just get uh, walloped by it quite commonly. Like Ig's, it's it's big like shockwave sword attack there that he does every now and then. That very consistently seems to down somebody. So we should just get out of the way if we can. One of those. One of those. It is staggering himself. Oh, he actually will get another overdrive. Yeah. So yeah, we the the the, the play we did the first time where we saved it was provably false. Provably the wrong thing to do. Okay, let's do this. And then before he can overdrive. And then as soon as he overdrives, I want to get here so he puts me into the wall and I'm right next to him still. Yes. See, now he can't actually... When, when I get next to the wall there, he can't push me very far away, right? 
But I can skybound Arham right away. That's a nice little bit of uh, tech there. Right, we, can, we can normally always get there, but this just makes it even easier, right? Okay. Some big bonks. I wish the uh, the id that boss music was playing during this. That shit goes incredibly hard. Alright. Yeah, like, we're barely doing anything to him here, and we have, like, we're basically been doing a pretty good job of keeping up enmity this whole time, right? He just, yeah, he just doesn't feel it. And I thought I was tanky. There's the bloodthirst. Oh, okay. I made a, I made a mistake. Uh, well, next time we go down, we're using our revive potion, for sure. It's just not worth it at this point. Dying with a revive potion, uh, you know, on you is, is pretty lame. Oh god, it's it's I kind it's kind of hard to get to you right now. Let's get over there again. Every second we can take off of someone going down might be the difference maker, right? This is why I use battalions to get in there in time. Okay, 100% link. Don't mind if I do. I think we can get there, man. It's gonna be close though. Like our our crit gauge is is very quickly uh, diminishing here. It is is kind of eating our ass. And his overdrive is not going down as fast as I'd like it to. Okay, I failed that dodge. Right, let's do this. We can't really afford to go down right now. Yeah, the blue potion gives Link, doesn't it? Oh, not as much as I thought. I thought that would be a lot more noticeable. Oh god, get Rock'em. It's fine, it's fine. I think we can afford one more person to go down. Let's, let's try and have that not be us. Okay, there he goes, this parry. Oh, okay, get away, get away. Yes, have him, don't let him target the uh, the AI with that AoE, right? But again, yeah, like, see right right there, he was targeted at Rock'em, and Rock'em did a pretty good job of, of getting out of the way, right? But when he's targeting us, they are not very good at defending themselves. Okay, we got a big bonk here because of the slow. Actually, I got a little scared, so I didn't do the full bonk. We're gonna go to one HP here, so let's be careful. This is a little risky, but we also, it is important to kill him as quickly as we can here. So, I think, I feel like we kind of have to. And we can go down one more time and just use the potion, so we're fine. After we don't have the revive potion, maybe then we can start thinking about not playing so risky with our HP. Perish. Alright. One of those. Okay, oh, he's aiming at somebody else, hopefully they can dodge it. Yes. Yeah, again, when he's, when he's aiming at us, this is when their dodging seems to break. Otherwise, they're kind of, like, invincible, to be honest. Okay, big bonk. Great scythe. Big bonk. Get out of there. He's parrying. Okay, yeah, and if we can trigger the parry when nobody's on our side, it's also even even less likely that he manages to hit somebody with it. Oh, he's jumping at somebody else. Oh, so again, yeah, hopefully it's okay. Oh, Rock'em. I think we can get him. I think we can get him up if it's both of us. No, Rock'em, why? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, man. Okay, maybe we need to, because uh, I feel like, I mean, we went down a couple of times there. Oh, man. Maybe we, maybe we do need to uh, level up our party just a little bit at this point, because that feels like a little much. Uh, we went down a few times there for sure, but it feels like a lot of it was just our party just keeps getting one shot by this, felt, by this guy, and I don't know what to do about it. Oh, man, that's tough. Do you want to keep that uh, that failed attempt in there? I suppose I will, right? But because it, it's still an interesting fight, and we're probably not going to reattempt it in this episode. But damn, it 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 kind of kicking my ass. All of our losses in the past few episodes have just been to id boss fights, right? Wow. Okay, so that's I guess that's a little much for us right now. I mean, should we should we be like farming up mastery points? Because that's the other thing, right? Like. Rockham's gear is obviously not great, like his weapon is only level 75, but that's not the giant massive gap between him and us. It's that his masteries are completely empty, right? This is the big problem, right? So that's... Do we need to be spending masteries on other people now? Maybe? I, I would actually I would actually uh, like some advice. I mean, I'm going to record a couple in, in a row here, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, well, I, sorry, not that I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm going to record a couple in a row here, so I'm not going to be able to get your advice right away in the next episode, but... What do you guys like? What what is uh? I get I, I know we went down a few times there, right? If we had gone down zero times, we are probably fine there. Um, but again, it feels like our we are starting to get to the point where those AI uh, crewmates are just not really they're not really standing up to the boss uh, as much as they used to. Is there maybe okay? Maybe is is it like the highest level quest here? Like if we if we go to yeah right here for example, are they level 
Yeah, so th th those are less. Those are smaller, right? Uh, this is also less, right? These are all the power. The advised power is all lower for these. Yeah, same, same, same thing for this. So I guess that id boss fight is also just like maybe the last one that we should do in this sort of set of them. I guess. But yeah, it seems like our, our party is starting to fall behind uh, a little bit for sure. Yeah, I suppose we'll invest. I mean, for some, for some of this, it's very cheap, right? Like the, the early masteries, like for Rockham here, for example, right? It's like you can get all the way down here for 115, right? But it, again, it's specifically Rockham a lot of the time. Like like the, the captain, like I, I was actually, yeah, that's that's a good point. Like, yes, uh, our AI companions are definitely underleveled, right? But like the captain and id go down, they went down less than I did, right? They went down like once or twice each or something. Rockham went down like 10 times. Is there something, is Rockham's AI just horrible? Is there something that I, that, that I don't know? Uh, let me know. Let me, do I need to, maybe I need to kick Rockham off the team as much as I, as much as I love him, right? But like, maybe we need to kick Rockham off the team and put like, you know, EO on or something. He's like a, you know, another sort of similar uh, range character, right? He can heal people too, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep everything as is for now and just try some, some easier quests. But by the time that I go back and try that id quest again, I'll probably have had time to see some feedback from you guys. So please uh, give me any advice that you have because we are, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe we could do some fade episodes for Rockham. How does that sound? Maybe that could be worthwhile. I guess he is. That is one big difference, right? It's id and the captain. We've, we've done a, a good amount of fade episodes for and, and Rockham has basically none. We'll see. Uh, for now, though, we will transition into our story corner. Uh, unfortunate there to, to end on a loss with that quest, but it's, you know, again, Extreme does not mess around, right? We, we actually have to start thinking a little bit about our party composition and things like that. We can't just blindly run in and, and hit things. We will, we're getting uh, gear checked a little, so. And not us necessarily, but even more so our party, so. Uh, anyways, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll transition to Story Corner, but if you're not one of the people who's interested in the Story Corner, then I will run you through the outro here so you can get on your merry way. Uh, so, as always, if you made it this far in the video, I've got four things for you. You know how it is. For number one, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down. Wait, no. For number one, join the Discord server. Uh, one, day, one day, that muscle memory will be overwritten. Uh, like the video was, was number one for a long time. Uh, there's a link in the description to join the Discord server. It's a great place full of lots of very kind and welcoming people. They, uh, you know, you can talk about Relink, you can talk about fighting games, you can talk about gacha games, you can talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, you can talk about WWE, you can talk about whatever the hell you want. People, I, people have been talking about all sorts of random things in there, so nice place to just hang out and make friends. I implore you to join, but I implore you to also keep it the nice welcoming place that it currently is, right? Uh, I, I haven't really had to moderate or do anything like that at all so far, but I will not hesitate to drop the ban hammer on somebody's ass if I have to, so just don't let that be you. Don't be the first person I ever ban. You don't want that reputation. Uh, for number two, of course, if you like the video, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. Greatly helps out the channel. I appreciate it a lot, of course. Uh, while you're down there, for number three, that subscribe button, that bell button, or all the way over there. Keep us today with all this content that we're throwing at you every day. Of course, we got uh, Reeling coming out at 7 p.m. and fighting game adjacent stuff coming out at 7 uh, noon p.m. EST, uh, both of those, every day. Right, so it's almost two hours of content that we're dropping every day here. So if you want to stay up, up to date with that, I encourage you to hit those two buttons. I guess suppose while you're down there, write a comment, tell me what the hell I should do about getting gear checked by these quests. Um, of course, for number four, most importantly, most more important than whatever buttons you smash or whatever algorithm-friendly interactions you hit me with, I appreciate those. But I hope you had a great time hanging out today, as always. I know I sure did, right? Again, it's fun. This is this is the interesting. Uh, there's another layer of of strategy in, on this game now. Look at this little girl. She's like so uh, enamored with us. She, we're, we're running around, and she's like, oh, look at the big man. Um, but yes, there's uh, there's another interesting layer of strategy now of like we actually we can't just dump all of our resources into Vasaraga maybe or maybe it's like Rockham again Rockham in particular is going down a lot so maybe there's something wrong with him right uh, we have to worry about our party composition we might even have to do a little bit of grinding right we'll see we'll see um, but it's it's still very interesting to be playing the game and it's very fun right so I have a lot of fun with Reeling uh, there's gonna be a lot more coming your way but if you are not one of the Story Corner folks I will see you in the next one peace all right Story Corner folks uh, we finished Vasaraga's paid episodes last time so that's great um yeah i guess we're, we're we're working on completing it and it looks like it is going to be a member of our party moving forward here so i think it's for the stat buffs it's also fine uh we we, we that, actually we did plan to do rockham's afterwards right that was actually the plan was always finish it and then go back to rockham um but I, apparently it's going to not just be a matter of my interest in in the character he, we also he also just desperately needs some stat buffs right because he just keeps going down like nobody's business i i don't know if is the character's like, if the character is highly outranked by the required power of the quest, does their AI get worse? I don't know. Like, it's generally questions that I would like to know. But anyways, anyways, we're not here to talk about mechanics. We're here to look at Id's Day of Reckoning. It was a very dour Chiru story corner last time. During one of my patrols, she stood in front of me, fidgeting with the cloth of her skirt. Yeah. It was very sad for Id last time. There was a lot of discussion about just, like, maybe he deserves all this hate that he's getting and 
Yeah. yeah. So let's see if it's any better or worse this time. I'm sorry. I only told one person and then somehow everyone found out. <laughs> he's so, like, he's so kind. Again, like, the fact he's apologizing to this person, right? With all due respect, save your apologies. Looking back, I realize I should have chosen my words more carefully. Something like, you don't have to apologize. All you told them was the truth. You know, something a person with a heart would have said. Yeah, I don't want to say it, but like, save your apologies sounds like it's basically screw you, right? Is, is how that's interpreted. No, you don't get it! Yeah, she had a right to be upset. Only I could have sounded so accusing when what I really meant to say was... It wasn't your fault. Really, has a really hard time expressing himself. Just tell me one thing: Did the church really brainwash you? And did you really have to fight your own mother? What? Where do you hear about that? Your friend told me, the captain. Of course. Yep. The captain promised me the crew would do what was right. Guess that meant giving my whole backstory to Shiralu. I mean, listen, the truth is important, right? Again, whether or not that justifies everything you did is, an, is a different question, but it's, it's at least good for her to know that you... Like, you know, doing something wrong because you were misguided is maybe not entirely justified, right? But it's at least a lot better than doing something wrong because you were, you know, evilly cackling and twirling your mustache the whole time, so it helps. Anyways, sure. it doesn't matter where I heard it. What matters is whether it's true or not. So... It's true. Why did she need to know? She doesn't want to hate you, man. Would my good intentions bring back the dead? Shiralu knew the answer to that as well as I did. My past is no excuse. That's awfully vague. So it is true. You're a victim. Just like us. Yeah, yeah, in a way you could no. just say that. I was the perpetrator. I had to be the perpetrator. How else could I explain the guilt that sat on my chest? made it hard to breathe. It's okay. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I agree with it, but does that make me a horrible person? But before I could say any of this, I was interrupted by the shrill ringing of warning bells. Uh oh. What's going on? Just as before, Rackham was making rounds to explain the situation. It looks bad. Our supply runners are under goblin attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Supply routes goblin were the lifeline of any settlement. They needed to be cleared immediately. I'll head out now. Shirulu, find your family and get to safety. Okay, I won't leave the village this time. Good. There we go. I met up with the others, and we left for battle. At least the the valuable supplies that people need to live are the only things in danger on this mission. Well, thank goodness you're here. You're all right, well, let's just do this right away. So yeah, again, with it, it is all about spamming skills and heavy attacks to get into dragon mode, which then refunds all your skill cooldowns, and you go from there, right? There you go. Get Rex nerf. Get Reagan left. Oh, right into the shield. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, at least we still have all of our heavies. And again, we're pretty overleveled for these goblins, so it's not so bad. The nice change of pace from getting our ass beat by uh, by Id himself, actually. Okay, I thought I could maybe use the aerials to climb there. Uh, wishful thinking, I guess. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, why is the dragon gauge not filling up? Am I missing something? Are we not? Reinforcements. I think they still had hordes in reserve. Yeah, it's just like there's no end to these things, man. Someone told me that these were basically bioweapons created by astrals or something. Oh, he's getting away. Bad. More goblins are headed for the village. What? Now? We can't abandon the supplies. Oh. Um, so can we split the party? All Mayhaps? Talks. Can you handle things here? Sure can. You just worry about getting to the village in time, you know, boy. Well, let me let me go. Let me go, man. Okay, okay. There's a cutscene. I see. I thought, they, I thought they were gonna let me run run through it, but no. Okay. Time to solo fight some goblins, I guess. Yeah, we're on our own now. They seem to be doing all right over there. They got link. They got link attacks and shit. What the? They've overrun the place. Is this the village? Thought. Perfect. <laughs> the 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 duality of men. Oh God, goblins. Also Id. Also a, fi a fair fight. So what's here? It's it's Id. Oh man, this is, this is, uh, this village is not very, uh, impressive looking. That's the plan. Bonk. Oh, there's the dragon gauge. Okay, for a second I thought, like, I just wasn't seeing it. I was very confused. 
All right, let's not let's not lose in front of uh, all of our adoring fans here. Bonk. And by lose in front of all of our adoring fans, I mean lose in front of all the people who's all are counting on us to save their life and livelihood. Right now, Tirolo is such a nice person. All I wanted was to protect people. I know oh. The in the past. Okay, Scourge. Never enough. Arcadia. Breaking left. Spam all those skills, baby. That's true, also. Still true. Well, kind of. I mean, it's not like he's the only one who did it, right? But he was, like, basically the uh, obvious strongest soldier, as it were. No, no, you're fine. It's good. See? Totally fine. Totally fine. Nothing to worry about. Ow. Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Get Reagan left, nerds? Oh, no, we are like the Dragon Gate. Okay, okay. Uh, get regular Reagan left, even though it's not quite as exciting. Fall. Never forgive the Church of Avia, but it's no longer one of them. Oh, how nice of them. This village, and now he's protected. That means he's Bonk. Oh. He's our last hope. I'm doing great so far. Oh, there's more of them back here. I was like, bring me the goblins. We will, we will. Don't worry. You're doing just fine, it. Just keep it up. Never enough some nerds, and we'll be right back on track. Where's our dragon gauge? Give it to me. Oh, it's full. We added to... Wait, wait, what the hell? What is this? Oh my god. What's happening? What's happening with this voice? Okay, well, let's do this, I guess. Oh my. What? That was so cool. Wait, what is this? We're in, like, blue sword form. And we're not even, like, when I do my heavies, I'm not going into Bahamut. Yeah. Oh, we got the good heavy, too. Very interesting. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, okay. We got a big boy. I guess we have to finish this off with a boss fight. Hello, Mr. Hobgoblin. At least that's what I think when I see this guy. Oh, we got the id theme. Let's go. Okay, Unbound does not have quite the... Uh, 90 seconds! That's what he... Oh, my. that is really cool. Right, that's, what, that's, what he, uh, that's what he said to us, right? When we first met him. What the hell is he doing? Oh, my God! He's going nuts! He's actually going nuts. Okay, okay. Let's not get too cocky. I got to. I got a little excited, seeing it just be absolute an absolute badass. It is really cool to see his his sort of villain catchphrase used for good, right? All I need is 90 seconds. Oh man, I did not think that would get me. All right, it's okay. We got potions. That's why uh, Bahamut gave us potions, or whatever the hell Bahamut, whoever the hell God is in this universe. Okay. Yeah, let's just go wild on his ass. Nice. That should do it. Oh my god. Can he do this? Outside of missions now too? Damn right. We're still doing damage to him through the Bloodthirst reduction. Oh my god. Even the Bloodthirst damage reduction couldn't save him. What is going on with this? It's like... I feel like this, this is this like a new mechanic that we just unlocked for it. It's very interesting. Pack it up. Pack it up. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sorolu. My sword cut clean through the last goblin. It's over. This doesn't sound very heroic, but as I pulled my he'll work on that. clear of its flesh. It trailed an arc of blood through the air. I felt the settlers behind me, watching, judging. You see, I thought, this is the kind of monster I am. I'm so surprised you can cut anything with that sword. It's like all bandaged up and stuff. He's got like the Nanami sword, but it's gigantic. I can't believe it! You did it, Ed! You really did it! See, they're cheering you on. Shirilo broke the silence with the cheer. For me, I had to say something. The goblins are gone. <laughs> He's doing his best. All at once, the migrants rushed me. 
Hands took hold of me and lifted me into the air. Those were fearsome odds, but you pulled through! You saved us! Thank you, Id. Again, why are these goblins so strong? These people knew I had destroyed their homes. So why were they rallying to me? Sorry I'm late. What'd I miss? The crew was now filing back into the village. They gazed up at me, open-mouthed. I'm sure I looked back at them with pretty much the same expression. Yeah, not what anyone expected to happen today. Oh, nothing. Just it single-handedly annihilating a goblin army. The settlers was finally cool, put me it? down and began telling exaggerated accounts of the battle. <laughs> I tried to take the opportunity to slink off and find conversation with something more my level. Maybe a tree or something. Hey, he's making jokes. That's a good sign. Hey, just where do you think you're sneaking? Is our resident bad boy feeling shy? Rackham's not gonna let you get away, yeah. I shot Rackham my nastiest look. But only because he had guessed the truth. Yep. You should be proud, Id. You saved everyone here. Come on, Lyria. It had to be obvious that I wanted to be left to myself. Yeah, but just because... Again, just because you want to be left to yourself doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best thing for you right now. Truth was... I didn't think I deserved all this praise. So I saved a small settlement. Great. Guess we'd forgotten I've also raised entire cities. Yeah. The captain strolled up to me and, after elbowing me in the ribs, asked, How was it to fight for the good guys? That I had an easy answer to. Not bad, I said. Not bad at all. One small step in the right direction, I suppose. Even if, you know, there's still a lot for him to do. I guess, yeah. Uh, on the topic of, of our party being a little bit under underpowered, sigils will definitely help them out a lot, too. Okay, well, uh, I think we can probably finish Id's fade episodes off here. These, these last ones tend to not be super long, so let's see. Consensus. Consensus. That's a very interesting name for a chapter. Consensus that Id has been atoned for. Uh, the morning has atoned, after the perhaps? second goblin strike, the sun rose on a quiet scene. The river glinted gold, the grass stirred in the breeze. This is nice. The migrants came with our breakfast and a peace offering. Avia attacked our homeland. We'll never forget that pain. But you proved yourself a true ally yesterday. Okay. Everyone saw you risk your life for us. You've earned our trust. They seem to be leading up to something. So I asked with my usual eloquence. Oh, here it comes. And... Dude, he is like, like the worst thing you could have said there, probably. Well, if it's all right with you, we'd like you to stay and protect our fledgling village. Hmm. I could not believe my ears. No, I, I'm not the person for the job. I've committed atrocities. Head. Lyria's voice sounded from behind me. I turned to see her smiling. You're right. Okay, there you go. She hadn't said anything, but I got the message. I had spent these past few weeks looking for punishment, hoping it would somehow numb my guilt. But how was my pain supposed to help anyone? I had become the new Mr. Fixit. I was going to dedicate my life to helping more people than I hurt. That was the best. The only way to atone. That's good. Again, like, it's still a very interesting concept of, like, is all of Id's hatred that he has for himself justified in a way? But all of that can be put aside. And yeah, I mean, right now, the past doesn't really matter, right? Like, even if you, you know, all those things, those horrible things you did to people can never be undone, and that's the case, right? Maybe you don't need to be undone. Live with that pain. I suppose it's, you know, you've earned it, but... Moving forward, just try and do better. What's wrong, Id? You look like you've gone into brooding overdrive. Hmm. What? No, I... I'm happy. <laughs> this is not how to show it yet. Buddy, you ever heard of a smile? Oh, here it comes. At this, the crowd laughed. I raised the corner of my lips, as if testing them. This made the crowd laugh harder. That's good. Sorry to interrupt, but could I have a word? Who is this? This isn't Caring Man, is it? It was one of the soldiers from the supply force. There you go. I was like, I don't reckon that doesn't sound like Caring Man. As some of you may already know, 
We weren't only responsible for transporting supplies. We were also tasked with assessing the resettlement effort. And I think it's no stretch to say the local monster presence is deadly. I'll have to ask the higher-ups to consider relocating. Hmm. Shirolu answered before I could. Not a problem. We've got a beast slaying Mr. Fixit on our side. That's nice. Alright, I wonder what the epilogue is going to be. I know that name, huh? Let's see. Again, it's good, right? It's, it's, it's still a tough situation, but yeah, this makes the future better than the past. As the local Mr. Fixit, I've had a finger in every pie. From furniture repair to monster extermination to marriage counseling, I've seen it all. Though I admit, the counseling did not come naturally to me. This is, uh, if you don't remember, this is exactly the, uh, feel that Roland gives us, right? Very early on when we meet him. This is very nice. Still, I wanted to help in any way I could. I owed the skies that much. A new request came in today. From an old friend. Any guesses? Magliel? I don't know. Ed? Was it my imagination, or did I see you crack a smile? Lyria materialized at my shoulder, and tried to read the forms in my hand. Yeah, work's been... nice. That's good. I handed her the papers. And there, written in plain view, was the name of our latest patron. Oh. Shirala. I see. Aww. Wasn't that just the cutest thing in the world? Okay. I guess there was a bit of a time skip there. Yes, I see, I see. Actually, yeah, the, the, this, this summary is wrong. Oh, there's a previous summary, never mind. Okay, I was like, the summary's for the last one, but that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Well, that's very nice, isn't it? Again, like, it is... still an, an interesting discussion to be had there, but uh, regarding... Like, at, is is everyone redeemable? Not redeemable in the sense of like, like it is obviously he he is now a better person, right? But it, can anything be forgiven if you try hard enough, right? Yeah. Even incredibly heinous acts, like probably you know, killing a thousand people more, maybe I don't know. I don't know like what its indirect or direct body count would be, right? But can such a heinous act be forgiven if the person is truly willing to atone, right? And I feel like my own personal answer is. Yes, but obviously, the worse the worse you were, the, the more you gotta prove to people that you've changed, right? And that you are truly willing to, to, to change, but it's tough. Like, I, I wouldn't necessarily disagree with anyone for anyone who, you know, made the, all those villagers were very willing to forgive Id after one very big sacrifice that he made for them, right? But if anyone still hated him, I don't know that's necessarily wrong of them, right? But the more, again, the, the more important part of all of this is that even if... He doesn't deserve forgiveness, right? That's fine. Uh, that's like, like, even if we go to that extreme and say that he does, like, no matter what he does, he can never be forgiven for his actions. Maybe. Uh, at least for his part, the best thing he can do is, you know, the past. He can't change the past. He can change the present and he can mold the future, right? He's been trying to do that to the best of his ability. So still a, a very nice message there, I think, overall. No matter how bad your past is, you can always do better. Please come again. Okay. Well, there's, uh, there's Id's, uh, fate episodes done. We'll get, I think, another Mirage Munition, hopefully, that we can stack on. Uh, and yeah, we, we shall end our story corner here for now. We'll start with Rockham next time. I guess we did his prologue and nothing else, but we can basically do all of his fate episodes in a row if we have the time, uh, next time, so. We'll get, we'll get on that for sure. Uh, but yeah, having a lot of fun, as always, with all of these stories here. I'm not gonna run you through the outro, because you already heard it when the non-story corner folks left. For now, I'm just gonna say that having a lot of fun with Relink, it's gonna be a lot more coming your way, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!